Look, I think the right authorities, and yes, I think the right authorities need to look at any of those issues. Um, you, you don't I, think the Electoral on... Commission is politically biased? Look, I, I, I'm not getting into all of that. We've got the rule of law, and I respect it. Um, and there's been a report out um, this uh, in the papers today about whether actually the government's campaigning was correct. I think the referendum was a once-in-a-lifetime uh, moment. I think that the Electoral Commission should, of course, uh, review and investigate all of those individual aspects. I wasn't involved with any of the You've got no the complaints money. about that. And in terms of MPs, well, including only, Tory MPs, who have... want you know, members of Vote Leave to come and answer questions in the House of Commons, as the Observer reports today, yes. do, you, do you think they've got a point? People like Dominic Cummings should come in and tell MPs exactly what was going on and explain themselves to the House of Commons? Well, I think certainly the, the Select Committee, in the normal way, should review and scrutinise every aspect. And the, you know, that's for Dominic Cummings to decide. Um, but the one thing I would say is the idea that these issues then discredit uh, and are used, and let's face it, some people are looking to use um, the. What if these, they've broken electoral sorry, law? That's the serious. Yes. Yeah. But it, to discredit the outcome of the referendum, I think that is wrong. I think part of this is a last ditch tactics by some to try and stop Brexit from happening. What actually we need to all be doing is focusing, coming together to get the best deal with the EU so we take back control of our laws, our borders and our money, sure. but we also have a good relationship with the EU in the future. We're